Hello brothers and sisters, may the peace of God be with you all. Uh, my name is George and I have today my sister Akane. We both serve the Lord in the same ministry. And she had a very powerful uh, dream about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we believe it's going to happen soon and we need to be prepared. And I, and I would like her to share with you this dream. Uh, because we are truly living in the end times and it's a serious it's a serious matter to, to truly repent and follow Jesus. So, what was the dream you had? Well, see, um, you know, with this ministry, we're serving God a lot. We're, we're trying to go evangelize out there, reach the lost. Um, just that, like lately, I had this dream um, of the second coming of Jesus. And that just made me realize um, even more the urgency of reaching out to to all uh, to to uh, lost souls. Sorry, mm -hmm. to lost souls. Because um, right now we feel we feel like we have to reach out to them, but um, until I think we see we see the consequence on the day of judgment, we we won't realize or you know we really hope to realize how urgent this is. So um, in this dream, well. Well, um, first of all, I, I saw this like from, from like a movie perspective. So it was in a car, there, there was a man in a car, and I wasn't with him, but I could see him in the car as if I was there. And then on the sky, there was this bright shining light, and, and, yeah, and then it became stronger and stronger. So at first, the man, he pulled out his phone to film, and, and because like he was an unbeliever, he didn't know what it could be. So. But then as the light came, came nearer, he took down his phone. He was like, wow, this light is it's too bright, right? I can't see anything on my phone. So, so then actually it was Jesus, he was coming to the earth. He was on a horse. His, his face, we couldn't see his face, but it was like this big light. And, and he had a red scarf around his neck. Wow. He was coming on a white horse. Then he came actually next, like the car was parked. He came next to the car. And, and the man could see the horse next to his car. And then when he looked out the window, he saw Jesus, right? He couldn't see his face still. And, and then like um, the horse was, the horse had fiery eyes, like red eyes. He was really angry. And then uh, the horse stood up on his back legs. Wow. And, and then the man, he immediately um, appeared in Hades immediately mm. so I was so shocked to see that be because I thought well there's not even a time to to like be in awe to, to like go through judgment you know stand in front of God like it's just immediately he appeared um, in the first death right he he went to Hades mm -hmm. and then I was still there I could see it and you know somehow I, I was there in, in person now so I, I saw I saw um, Hades which is it wasn't the lake of fire but uh, there was this lake of snakes and there were a lot of people in there and the people couldn't escape and they were ke they, they kept um, being bit by the snakes tortured yeah they were tortured and and like when I saw that I was um, I was thinking like there, there's no way out for them like I was really hoping I could do anything to get them out of there I even tried pulling someone and and I couldn't and I was really hoping, like, maybe if they stop moving, like, they're gonna, they, they can be at peace for a moment or something. But no, there was no way for them to get out. And not only that, I knew that wor the worst was to come. The lake of fire was to come, and, mm -hmm. and they were going to burn there forever. And yeah, it, it really made me worried. And then I came, kind of came back to, uh, to this world. And it was still, you know, Jesus was still coming, like, very soon. Um, and the, the reason why I knew Jesus was coming very soon is, you know, despite, like, apart from that vision that I got, um, also, uh, there were people preparing for war around me. There were people mm. preparing for war, right? That's wow. a thing I forgot to mention, like, during That's our right, meeting. Yeah. But yeah, like... So there is a war before the coming of Jesus Christ. There yeah. will be a war. Yeah, yeah, like, people were getting ready for this big war, like, people around me. Right, it's not like only this far away war, like a lot of people were involved. Um, yeah, and, and I was in this big place, big establishment with lots of people I met throughout my life. And and then, um, 
like since I, I suddenly knew that Jesus was coming, I called my mom. Cause my mom, um, she's an unbeliever. In the dream? Yeah, you in the dream. I called my mom on my phone, like uh, on a video call. And then I was telling, I was telling her once again the gospel. I told her for, forget about religion. Like you know, if, if I did anything that seemed too religious to you, like forget about that. Like um, I told her the gospel. I told her what Jesus did for her, and she was so naive about it. Like she was grooming her hair on the video call, and and so I saw, you know, how hard-hearted um, my mother is right now, and so that that um, pushed me to pray more for her. And, and there's also the fact that since I knew God was coming, like everything was normal, right? Like people were just um, acting as if nothing was happening. People were just doing all sorts of like random, very relevant things, like things people won't even do in real life. But that just shows how much people are, are busy doing things that don't matter. So like even myself, like I was doing things that are so random and, and useless. But then when I knew Jesus was coming, I still had like a bit of fear evangelizing, but I just, I just told people, um, repent and believe in Jesus. He's coming, right? I was telling that to people. Um, yeah, I remember there, there was like this person who tried to, to grab me and tried to like pull me back into the world to, to be like, oh yeah, you know, we go hang out. And I was like, what, what are you doing, right? Jesus is coming and you're, you're thinking about hanging out. Wow. So. So yeah, that, that, that's what I saw in this dream and, and it really confirms like another dream that I had about someone planting bomb, bombs everywhere and, and I was telling people, well, I was warning people around, um, telling them that, that the bombs were going to explode and most people didn't believe. There were only a few who got out of the, the, stop, the, the, the building and the rest stayed and then I escaped too at the end and, and everything exploded, right? So, wow. yeah, it follows. So it confirms, uh, her dream confirms what I've been sharing on my YouTube channel, guys, that the Lord Jesus is truly coming soon. And we know that God is love, but we know also that He's a holy judge. And He's very angry because of our sins and wickedness and rebellion against His laws and, and uh, all the uh, darkness in our hearts uh, toward each other. That's why Jesus is coming to judge the world. If, we, if you read the book of Revelation, you see that as, as the sister shared, he has if, uh, eyes of fire. She shared like his horse also was angry, like he's coming on a horse like a king, you know, to establish his kingdom. So, but at the same time, I shared uh, yesterday that he's coming for a marriage wedding, for a wedding for the believers, those who trust in him and repented of their sins. So, where are you? What do you believe in? Have you truly repented of your sins, my friend, and trusted Jesus and what he did for you on the cross, dying for your sins? Or are you s still walking in sin, carelessness, uh, rebellion against God? It's now the time to wake up. And also, before the coming of Jesus, there's going to be hard times on the earth. And I didn't share this with the sister before, but her dream confirmed what I've been sharing on my YouTube channel, that there's going to be a war and tribulation. If you read the book uh, uh, of Revelation, we uh, about the seals of God, there's going to be a huge war, like a world war three maybe, and many people will die, one fourth of the human population. It's going to be so hard. But if you have a strong relationship with God, He will be your strength and refuge to endure to the end. He will be your peace in the middle of the war and tribulation. And then you will have hope after this life. Amen. You will have hope of eternal life. Those who don't have hope, they will become so afraid and they will live in fear because they will lose everything. They will, they will see everything around them falling apart. But we who trust the Lord, we know that He's coming to save us and to inherit his kingdom with him and to have eternal life hallelujah so guys let us let, let this video be a warning for you and also an encouragement to trust jesus he's coming soon he's very angry uh because of sinners but if you surrender to him if you surrender your life to god you will please him and he will not be angry on you anymore now is the day of salvation today is the day of salvation now is the time of grace 
He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to judge you and condemn you now. But if you keep pushing him away, resisting the truth, hardening your heart, your heart, uh, there will be a time where there is no more grace for you. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah, the moment like Jesus comes, it, you can't repent at that moment anymore. It's too late, right? He's very angry and he's coming to retrieve his bride. And what I remember is that Jesus, he looks so glorious, you know, next to, to the car. Like, I just saw that and I thought, like, wow, like, we must be um, very honored to that Jesus has called us to him, that he's coming for us. Um, yeah, and... And um, yeah, it's just like we have to be very honored and and be proud, like um, like boast in our God, Amen. right? Amen. Be because really, like that's so amazing. When He's gonna come and you're gonna be on His side, that's something to be so happy about. It's like wow, you know, all of my like all this time I've been telling you about this God, and now He He has come. Jesus has come, and look, look He's real, and and I'm on His side, mm -hmm. right? And. and yeah, that's that's truly an honor. But really, what the this dream um, showed me is that, like, reaching out for souls, like even saving a few souls, that's way more important than all the blessings you can receive. Like, I literally, what I thought in my dream was forget about the blessings. Like these people, they're perishing. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, the Bible says in the last days, your your sons and daughters will prophesy. And, and see like there's more and more people having these dreams. Mm -hmm. The birth pangs are increasing. They're getting closer and closer. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're getting closer and closer. And, and you know, the more revelations people receive, the more you see people preaching the gospel out there, um, the more, yeah, people are being reached out. That means that we're getting closer to, mm -hmm. to the end. We're getting closer to the end. And we really have to focus on God, put God first despite what you have on the side put God first and all these things will be added on to you that's what the Lord says exactly seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first and everything else will be added to you Amen. Uh, God knows your needs just trust him he's your provider trust him he will give you what you need but now seek his kingdom first and as the sister shared uh, in her dream when, when the guy in the car met Jesus it was too late for him to repent. Immediately he went to Hades, like a place before the lake of fire, a kind of hell. You know, immediately he went there to be tormented with snakes. Snakes are an image or of demons. Yeah. And demons. And somewhere in the Bible, Jesus gave a parable that those who are rebelled against the king, against God, they will be delivered to the tormentors. Yeah, yeah, that's and, exactly And he, he could be hinting about demons tormenting people. Like, could be a possible uh, interpretation of this passage so there is a torment and there is no second chance my friend don't say oh after Jesus will come or after I see the rapture then uh, I will repent actually it will be too late for you you know there is no uh, second chance after the coming of Jesus Christ now you need to believe and Jesus said blessed are those who believe without seeing you know so uh, in Jesus there is life He's the Son of God. Surrender your life to Him. Do you have something else to share? No, I think, it, I think everything was said. Amen. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. Share this video so we can reach more people. And may the joy of the Lord be our strength in these end times. Amen.